Hello, Wildcat Nation. As you can probably guess, we've been working hard to try to figure out what our next school year is going to look like. I think we can all agree that education has never experienced anything quite like what we've seen over the last three months. We can also agree that after losing nine weeks of school, some of our students might have fallen behind. But what we can agree on most is that godly, we're gonna make every decision in the best interest of our students. And that's why we've decided to alter our 2020-21 school calendar. This new calendar is not just because of COVID, nor was it created aimlessly or on a whim, but rather diligently poured into by our administrative team while trying to determine the best direction for our district once we return in August. We presented the possible changes to the teacher leadership team. Our district improvement committee. Our strategic design team that includes over 100 parents, community members, teachers, and of course, some students. And lastly, our Board of Trustees. We were met with some tough and valid questions and concerns. But we were also able to have great discussions to help address those issues and concerns. This balanced calendar will help us address gaps students may have after missed face-to-face -face instruction. It will help us reduce the gaps our students face after the typical summer break, also known as the summer slide. This balanced calendar was developed with intentional two-week intercessions to help with flexibility in case of mandated closures. To minimize the need for e-learning and reduce the burden placed on families. And to give much needed mental breaks to students. But teachers also need mental breaks. They often experience burnout from the lack of breaks during the nine weeks. This schedule will allow for rest and hopefully increase teacher retention. It will allow students to focus solely on extracurricular activities during the breaks without the stress of academics. We understand that many of you will have questions about this new calendar just like we did. We have created a FAQ page with questions that we received from our faculty, strategic design team, district improvement committee, and our board members that we hope will answer any questions that you may have. We know it's late to make changes to the calendar. And we wouldn't have under normal circumstances. But as you know, our current times are anything but normal. We are confident in our district's ability to adjust, grow, and succeed during these times. And we are excited about the upcoming year. And we can't thank our godly community enough for your continued support. Go Wildcats.